if you guys cannot already tell by the snowflake in the bottom corner, we are, no, we're not talking about this generation. We're talking about NixOS today. This is one of the weirdest distros that I have ever seen. But probably the most interesting one. It's got the best Neo Fetch logo by far. This is pretty minimalist out of the box. It had like 63 packages before KDE was installed. It's pretty minimalist. You get to specify which packages get to be installed on the system. This is a base install with KDE. Um, with a console on it. Um, and all of that. Uh, this is just KDE. All the KDE things are here. I just downloaded some software so I could record this for this video. Um, so, let's show you how packages are installed. This is one of the more bizarre things about this OS. If I go into Super User, I'm not keeping this on my computer forever, so I just set my root password to 1. We are going to go into Vim, we're going to go slash Etsy, slash Nix OS, and then configuration not Nix. And here you're going to specify your user. If you want sound enable, if you want printer enabled, uh, if you want plasma, you can choose any display manager or desktop environment. Uh, you're going to choose your uh, locale and uh, your time zone. I have all of these enabled. Right here, you can specify which packages are installed at all. I only have Vim, WGIT, Firefox, NeoFetch, OBS, VLC, and POS Audio. To show you guys for an example, let me go ahead and go in insert mode here. It's at HTOP. What else should I add? Kaden Live is going to take a little bit, but for examples, I'm just going to put in Kaden Live. I'm gonna need it to edit this video anyways but if we go uh, next OS rebuild switch it'll rebuild our operating system from scratch like this and it's just gonna do all of that and I don't know if I can find it but it does something really annoying when you boot up it has a big list of everything Every single time you've compiled or rebuilt your operating system in a big list. So if you want to go back to the first time you built your operating system, you can do that. Um, which is pretty cool. I believe that is awesome. But if I can show you. XLS list generations. Let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can find a list somebody should have put up here yeah look at this um it's like this right here like yeah i can probably just find where they put this at this picture at right here it shows this next os configuration and it sucks if you have 260 of them i have six of them personally Oh, Ken Live and then already compiled. Let's see if they're right here. Ken Live. Let me try each top. And there we go, guys. It's that easy. It's really easier than like Pac Man or apps. In my opinion, that is. It's easier and it makes you feel more bizarre. This is weird. A weird distro. More than likely not going to use it as my daily driver. But I like this. I think it's pretty cool. You have chances to do things on here. And it has a very sophisticated partitioning process. You could, okay, with my one terabyte drive, all I had to do was go into CF disk and do that. Make uh, the root first. The 8 gig swap and the uh, 524 megabyte boot for my EFI. But if we get to the, the next OS install, guys, the manual, installing next OS, and we go and find partitioning and formatted. They, they want you to use parted for all of this. 
Um, you got like parted and then all of that. They're making you select primaries and all of that. Which is fine on my part. Um, I like that. That's fine. I don't care. And we have this and then we have this and then add swap. And then formatting it with labels. This is exactly what I would do so I can't blame them there. But I know the NixOS label is required for when you're generating your config during the install process. Um, so, there's that. Now we need to mount. Now you mount it. And then you go to generate your config. And then you go here. One wrong move would mess the entire system up. That's why I used VI when I was in there. So I could, like, toggle modes. Um, so... That's about it for this guy. It, it's a little sophisticated. It's definitely harder than the Arch install. It's Arch install, you gotta go low keys, uh, US, that's it. Then you go CF disk, partition it, and then you go, um, like, MK swap, slash dev, slash SDA, uh, SDA2, and then here you're gonna make FS, EXT4, XT4, slash dev, slash SDA3, like that. And then you're gonna go, May oh m m k f s dot fat f slash f thirty two and then slash this and then you're gonna make the directory for the booty of i then you gotta go then you gotta pack stra strap and on Arctic it would be base strap and then generate your f s tab which is f f, f stab gin on Artix and F uh, GNFS tab on Arch. So right that, you go into your uh, host name file, then you go to your locale file, then you gotta make that locale.com file. Set your name, make a user, uh, set wheel, wheel all equals all, all. Then you just uh, true it in, and then you go ahead and you install NeoFetch like a Chad. And then you set up your start X once you get in there, um, or you can wait until you reboot. Set up your start X, install any more essential packages, and reboot, and you're done with the Arch install. Gen 2 is the Gen 2, and the for handbook, 64 handbook is a little harder. Um, it's a little harder. It's still very easy to understand. They like over. I've never seen a guide like over these things, um, but here, this is my, uh, I don't know why they have Riser FS right there, Where, wasn't there, um, wasn't there a developer, a killer? Yeah, right here. Convicted murderer. Yeah. Convicted of murder or Linux. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, well, I don't want to get monetized. Even though I don't make money for this. Uh, I don't want to get, like, age restricted or anything. Even though it's not targeted towards kids. I don't want to get age restricted. Does that look bad on my record? <laughs> but... That's about it. I think this OS is really cool. It's like really well made. Um, in any case, I didn't already tell you, you can install Nix on like Mac OS. In Nix Package Manager, you can install this on any Linux distro. You can install it on Mac. Um, and I don't think there's a way to own Windows. <coughs> but that is pretty cool that you can install that package manager. That could be a really good homebrew replacement for Mac. Um, but anyways, guys, I will see you later. This was just a pretty cool vid that I thought was an interesting distro. Uh, I thought it was an interesting distro. You know, I'd like to check out a little bit more of it. Um, but... I had to take a week break. I was thinking um, on how to come back and boom.
blow you guys' minds. Um, but I will see you guys later. Goodbye.